The INN333 homepage includes a feed for the unit blog, which acts as the announcements for the unit. RSS and email subscription options are available to students to ensure they don't miss any posts. The beauty of the blog is that the announcements become a two-way communication channel, as students can comment on the posts. This was a highly successful feature of the site, with an average of about 1.2 comments per post throughout the semester. Underneath the unit blog is a feed of latest posts on student blogs, allowing visitors to the site to see at a glance what posts have recently been made. In the centre panel, an RSS feed for the INN333 Twitter hashtag feeds the latest tweets related to the course into the homepage. During the semester, students shared links with each other by using the hashtag, posted when they had a revelation, offered or sought help, and engaged in lively discussions. Students were encouraged to follow each other and interesting tweets in library and information science, and one of their learning activities encouraged them to follow information organisations to see how they were using Twitter as a service delivery channel. Beneath this RSS feed is a widget that shows who is currently online and who has been recently active on the site. In the right-hand panel, a widget allows students to log in and edit their profile. Beneath this, a set of quick links provides access to key unit material. We'll revisit the unit material pages later. Finally, there are a range of options for monitoring and joining in the INN333 conversation. This includes subscription options for the unit blog, an OPML file of RSS feeds for student blogs, a saved Twitter search for the INN333 hashtag, a list of student Twitter accounts, and a list of must-follow library and information science practitioners on Twitter. The top navigation bar on the site provides students with access to essential functionality and content. The first tab is the Activity tab, where students can monitor the latest activity across the unit site and also update their own status. The Members tab allows students to locate their peers' information and blogs quickly and easily. Students were given the option of using a real name or a pseudonym, as well as a photo of themselves or a creative avatar. And in the early weeks of class, students were encouraged to think about and reflect on their own personal philosophy for online identity management. The Groups page allows students to quickly access their assignment groups, their personal learning networks, or the broader unit group. In the first iteration of this unit, students were put into groups of six. These small personal learning networks were designed so that students could monitor a smaller subset of the interaction on the site and to facilitate engagement. Unfortunately, this is one aspect of the unit design that didn't work particularly well. In a group of six, the possibility of conversations stagnating if there isn't equal engagement from all students is very high. The broader class group, however, worked very well and was another of the really successful elements of the course. Students were required to post any questions they had about the unit to this group or their personal learning network, rather than emailing the lecturer. Although I closely monitored activity, in most instances, other students had supplied their peers with the information they needed within hours. The blogs page contains a link to every student's blog, which they used as their personal channel for reflecting and demonstrating the outcomes of their play activities. Another really successful element of the unit design was that students' reflections became learning artefacts that supplemented the learning materials I provided. Robust conversations occurred in the comments and students clearly took pride in being creative and innovative with their blogs. It was incredibly satisfying to watch students develop their own voices as bloggers through the semester and become more confident in articulating opinions and reflections. Finally, the Unit Materials tab includes all of the unit content. This content is provided in the same structure that is used on Blackboard with some added functionality including a Google Calendar for the unit schedule. Learning materials are organised by week and topic, and all content is either embedded in the relevant page or linked from it. A full database backup runs every evening and an XML export of the site ensures a copy is kept for record keeping purposes.